Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are jumping into The Infected. This is another game I've played by the, quite a bit of over the years. Um, I find it really interesting. Uh, certainly the recent changes have made things even better than what it previously was. So um, yeah, let's go guys. First things first, we need to try and get our ATV up and running. Pick up the wheel. And plug it on the bike. I can't put it on the bike. Where is it? Is it put it on that side? Oh, yeah. I think there's three wheels you need to find. And if I remember correctly, there's another one in here. There we go. Pick up tyre. Run around and um, put that on a bike. No? Where's that going? So not going in my inventory. Okay, let's go and get the last tire. Maybe I need to just put all three tires in. I thought I actually put them on as you went along. Maybe it's not. Take everything at this point. Everything is useful. Pick up here. Yeah. So there's four tires we need, not three. What does it say? Yeah, let's put them in there. Have them up. That's what else is paid. If you look at the bottom left, materials needed one iron ingot. Sorry, materials needed iron ingots, two tyres, four. I've got three of them already. Gas can, zero of one. So let's go and get the other tyre. Then we need to find those two iron ingots. Off the moment, pick up those while I'm here. Pick the tire back up. Stone there, that'll be useful. What else we got around here? So there's a four tires. Now we need to find the two iron ingots to go with it. Ooh, food, food is always useful. Anything in here? No, anything around here? Stone, stone, pretty nicely, thank you. Anything else? No, nothing. Stick, stick will do. At least that way I can craft an axe, I believe. There we go. Have that. And there we go. We've got the axe in our hand now. Anything else down here? Now, let's go upstairs, have a look upstairs, nothing over here. Oh, there's a gas can. No, I didn't see that. See that the first time. There's another gas can. Okay, let's um, take a look upstairs. What have we got up here? There's an iron ingot. Search out, there's some clay brick and some rope. Nothing in the bed. There's your iron ingot and search the dresser. So I think it's everything we need to get the uh, quad going, the ATV, whatever you want to call it. Which way out? This way. So now if I just pull up the bike, press E. There we go. Go for the bike again. And let's get the gas can and use fuel tank. We've got a full tank of fuel, and we can put a tank of fuel in the oops, box on the back. I believe since I've played this last, they've actually added a trailer to go on the back of the ATV, which you can use for transporting stuff as well. You can eat frogs, you can get frog meat, cook them. It's got this bit right here. There we go, harvest the frog. 
And I should now have some meat. There we go. More meat. Right, ATV. We are down here. Whoa. Moving a little bit quick. We are down here. We want to get near some caves. I believe there's a good couple of caves around here. There's some water over here. Can we do any more? Um, this might be quite a good place somewhere over here. Maybe it's over here. Not too far from a town. It's a desert area. Probably another cave. And the trailer's just up there. Okay, that's that looks a fairly good place. So let's head over to here. So I want to go down the road. So I keep eyes peeled for any fruit and veg on the side of the road like that. You see in there. Oh, loads of it. Take some of that. Oh, look at this. Everything you possibly want. So I'm not going to starve to death straight away anyway. I keep an eye out for um, bears and things and um, vampires. That's the word I was looking for, vampires. <laughs> because they are pretty nasty. They will very quickly um, take me apart of this state. I need to get some better weapons. I need a spear at least. And that is a Steve just heard good. Alright, check everything, check the car, there's the bike. Take all that, the oil, which was in the rusted can, can be used for fueling things, various things. Um, like rock gathering and stuff like that. Um, anything else around here? Thought there was another car somewhere down here. I think we've got about 14 days before the first base attack happens. Let's just check where we are on the map. No oh, miles away, we're just here. We need to go all the way up to there. Okay. That's going to use quite a bit of fuel. Oh, more food. Harvest that. Okay. My backpack's full. So. Let's consume some of these things that can give us water. That'll do. And even though I can see more food. I don't think I've seen this much food, this much food before. So early in the game. I could offload some of them here, I suppose. See, it's carrying everything in my backpack. Uh, no place like home. With a vehicle repaired, it's time to head out and explore the world. First, locate a suitable spot to construct a base, then craft and place a plain pole to start construction. Use M to display the map here, we know that. So you've got to place uh, like a location marker before you can build anywhere, um, and then you can only build within a certain radius of that marker. It'll make more sense when we start doing it, but for now let's just head up the road, see if we can get there before night falls. Well, it does get quite dark when night comes. Um, so yeah, they changed the uh, enemies on this quite a bit, maybe about a year ago. Um, the previous ones just to scream at you and to tell you the truth, if you weren't ready for it, it used to give the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> it really used to get you. The hairs on the back of your necks to them. 
Um, but the chains of now are a bit different, they don't scream at you in the quite same way. Um, but I think if anything they're a bit worse and that they come running at you now and um, they use various weapons and things like this. I'm um, cutting across, no not really. Um, but yeah, the, the developers constantly, I think it's just like pretty much a one man band at this point, um, constantly updating this game. When I started playing there was no roads, there was no, no ATV, um, there was none of these hills and things like that. But even back then it was a good game. And now it is, it's just a brilliant game now. I love it. I've played so many hours of this game. And again, it's kind of a base building game. Um, you've got to build yourself a home and I am um, a pumpkin. And I harvest that. Yeah. And uh, you've got to build a base, you've got to build a, you know, workshop and things like this. I think I've got to go left here. Oh yes. <laughs> Fallen rocks there, of course I've got to do that. Um, yeah, so you've got to build a base, you've got to defend it. Uh, you do get hordes coming in. Uh, like I say, I think the first horde is after 14 days. Then after that it's about every 5 days. I think I've got to set to a maximum of five enemies per horde attack. However, you do run across some uh, the zombies. Oh, no, you still can't run them over. Um, you do run across the, come across the zombies when you're investigating the villages and the towns. To unlock technology, you've got to go and visit the towns and that you find white pages or technology pages, which then allow you to unlock technology. It used to be one page for a specific technology but they changed it so you just got to collect a page and that allows you to unlock any one of a number of technologies but you need a certain amount of pages to unlock everything so so again it'll become oh the bird become more clear as the game goes on get back my ATV there's another pumpkin there but I've, I've got quite a bit of What's that red thing down there? Is that just another pumpkin in the shadows? Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay. Um, we've got to grow your own food as well. We're going to create small um, planters. Uh, you can create a greenhouse. Uh, you can create a garage. Smelt and um, forges for smelting the ores. You can build wind turbines, solar powers, batteries. And you've got controllers to make sure that you've got the power to do everything. I don't want to go off the bike, I just want to see where I'm on. Okay, so I want to go up into this area here, don't I? So I'm going to just go straight across here. So it's an ATV, you can go off road. Although you'd have to be careful not running into all the trees. And they do get quite densely packed sometimes. Whoa, you don't want to run into stones or anything like that. That doesn't kill you but um, it does stop quite dead. How far are we? Right, so there's a village over there. There's plenty of trees around here. Hello Mr Frog, I can hear you. But are we... How are we doing here? Obviously you need water to survive as well. So there is some water there, a stream there. Now, do I go that side or do I go this side? I'm tempted to go that side, it just looks a bit flatter. And you can't drive the ATV through water. And I mean right the way through water, so it's over, over your head. There's a sheep, I believe. Where are I? Okay, so I'm going to go this way a bit. See the side of the road. I think I might be too far away from water here. Yeah, I need to be closer to water. Not like in build some um, um, 
Rain water catches, or buckets, or whatever you call them, like baths. Oh, don't want to go here or not. Access to the road, access to two caves, access to two villages not far away from the trader. Very tempting. You know what? What the hell? Let's start here. So I need to pick up some stones. Now you see things like stones and sticks. If you if you covered by something like that, you can see like a blue outline there. Right in the middle there, you can see it. So you tend to be able to see them. Just makes them a little bit easier to spot in this dense undergrowth. Um, and if you go back to your map, you can see the purple dot there is your ATV, as it says up there. Truck location, there's a truck in this game as well. Um, you can build a cart, and obviously it's a trailer, and a land claim. Which I need to put down from start building. You know, I'm not convinced. Um, I am just a little bit too far away from water here. It's a shame there's not a pond over here or something, but it's not, it's over here. That would be the better place there. Okay, let's just go. Where on this... Oh, that's what happened to anyone in something. Go around this outcrop of rock. So where is that spot? It's down to the right here. So there's the water. I was thinking to see the side of this rock, but I don't want to go around it this way. Oh. I'm not particularly happy with any of this, you know that. Okay, let's see if we can find somewhere else. I'm not, I'm not very happy with that spot. That spot would look quite good because it's got a pond beside it. But it's uh, doable, I guess. That's oh, two traders. There's two traders. That used to just be one trader. Um, no other traders about, is there? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's go over there. It's a bit further to the caves. But you don't spend all day in the caves anyway. Which way am I going? Yeah, I'm going go. down here. Ribbit. Whoa, where's the road? There it is. Whoa! Right, it's Mr. Rocks. So you've got two types of rocks. Let's quickly show you. I saw one there. We've got these little skinny ones here, which give you clay. I'll start on here. And then you have these bigger ones which give you stone when you get a once you create a day a pickaxe. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> That's the story of my life. Alright, head this way. <laughs> yes, I can still hear you, frog. Unless you want to be dinner, shut up. There's loads of frogs about. So where was that spot? It was up here somewhere in the right on the Oh, it's a little ways yet. It's quite away from the caves though, but no problem. Oh, it's from the tree. I'll teach you not which way I'm going. Um, what the hell, we'll just have to live with it.
we do need to be closest to water. I prefer a, a more flat area than those other ones. They're a little bit too hilly for my liking. So where's that water spot? Somewhere over here. Let's head in this direction and I'll come across it. Whoa, tree. Oof. My insurance blown. Oh, here's the water. So. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Let's just come out this gully a bit and see what we've got. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, this is more like it. This is more what I want. And there's water just there. So, I just um, harvest this. How are we doing for water? Not too good. So, let's just eat some of this and put our water back up. We do have a water bottle there. It's got 60 units of water in it at the moment. Um, I don't want to save that. So, first things first. Let's start chopping down some trees. This wooden axe takes forever. Let's dump these over here for the moment. I want to clear this area if I can. Yes, I hear you, sheep. There's a temperature in the top right hand side as well, it's 6 9 degrees at the moment. Um, that does go up during the summer and down during the winter. And in the summer, you've got to wear cooling clothing, and in the winter, you've got to wear warm clothing. That's why it affects you. Did I get a third log. No, oh, they are solid. Alright, that'll do for a minute. I see all these spawn if I'm not careful. Right, what do I want to build? I want to build... Where is it? Look. It's under this one. I'm trying to remember now. Well, since I played, it all changed. No, it's under that. Under that. Not under that. Oh, it's under that book there. So I want to start building a base. Now. to place foundation. Let's just start off with a nice little small hut of 4x4. Four four. Oh, didn't mean to do that. If you place one by mistake, you just go up to the shadow of it and press delete and confirm. Alright, so now I need to use up. And I'm going to have to make some wooden planks as well. It's four per, yeah, four logs, six wooden planks. So let's just get the logs in to begin with. Yep, yep, what? It's four in there. One more in there. Um, these two. We'll go in there. There's another tree over here. Ah, oh, my water. Oh, my energy's right down, sorry. And my water. Right. So, what do I need to build a workbench? A saw bench. Placeables. Um, what's a saw bench? Saw bench, there we go. Four logs. Why can't I build a saw bench?
Why would it let build so much? Basically, so much. I'll tell you why it won't let me place the soul bench because the first thing I need to do want to find it walls, ceilings, roofs stairs, doors, railings, other there it is I need to place a land marker so let's just place that there for now Right. Now it should let me place a soul bench. Nope, not number. Soul bench, there we go, that's better. Why oh, still not let me place it? Oh E, that's mine. Place two of them down. And now I just need wood. Lots of logs. There's the first one. And right at the bottom right you can see my stone axe is taking damage every time I use it. And it does eventually wear out and you've got to replace it. Just grab some more logs. Oh, night must be coming in. Here's a fog. I've got plenty of plant fibre, I think. There we go. And I'm actually going to place a third soil bench. Because these big trees, you can only hold, you hold three logs in your hand, and it's handy just to pardon the pun. It's handy just to um, drop three logs or three four benches. What's all those logs gone? There they are. And these are logs. So these big redwood trees give you more logs. So there we go, one, two, three, and now we can start. Picking up. Remember how? <laughs> I know why. We need to do a The reason is, I've got no space in my backpack, so let's take that. Can't see that over, I'll be able to get some logs in there. Some planks, sorry. There you go, max out the planks, so now I can... Build the foundations. Six planks per foundation. One left on my inventory, so I need to go and get some more logs. Each log gives you two planks on this basic saw bench. Later on, you get a powered saw bench, which gives you four logs. Let me just and if I click that little um, binocular thing there you can see there's a red line around me, that's how far I can build out. I can't build beyond that. Turn off for now, don't use. 
Don't need that. Don't need that. Right, there's our base done. So now we need to build um, walls. I need a door to put there. Make sure it's the right way. Yeah, there's a door there. Walls, walls, walls. That wall. Will it blind this one? Stupid. Put a wall there, there, and there. And then I want a win a wall with a window. There, 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 and there. And now I'm just gonna collect a load of wood. Oh, my water's running low. Okay, so let's just... What do we need for a fire? To place a fire. Place the balls. Where's the fire? There it is. So let's place the fire. Let's place, oh, let's place, place fire here for now. Let's just rotate it a second. And I will need a gazebo type thing to go over the top of the fire. Keep the rain off the fire. What does that need? That needs four logs. As you see, it's just been raining. Um, you can put benches down, uh, troughs down. That's the word I was looking for, the troughs, to gather the rainwater. And I will build some of those in a bit. What's that on the floor over there? Oh, he spawned just as I looking at it. Okay. Four logs. What do I need for the fire? I need ten small stones and eight firewood. So firewood, I can drop the logs and harvest them and the firewood are the bigger ones and now I just need one stone which is stone there I'm getting a bit funny because I've run out of um, water to drink Put these sticks up and I can put them on the fire. This fuel. Right, let me drink my water. That takes care of my immediate need. The river's this way. I don't have a light yet, do I? Oh, here's a river. Okay, it's not too far away. That's now filled with dirty water. Put the dirty water in my Fire. So I'll fill it up as best I can. Oh, 
because I've got to make this water clean before I can drink it. Keep filling this. Well, I did make this the last run. Stamina. Come on. Keep moving. Got my stamina build back up. It does tank. If you keep running too much. There we go. Now light a fire. And that water will now be turned into clean water. You can see the bar going round. Once that's gone all the way around, that'll be clean water. Put the meat on the fire. Where's our TV? Ah, that meat's already turned rotten. So when it turns rotten, it turns into spoiled food like that. Okay, nothing I can do about that. Um, jump down to the big tree. Past the pumpkin, remember that. Get up there. You can't jump when you've got the logs on your shoulders. So three logs per wall, and then four planks. So three logs. There's two there, so I'll just stick them on here. Yeah. Trees, big tree, another big tree. The trees do grow back. Three logs in there. And I've lost where I've chopped the tree down. <laughs> Wasn't that far away, was it? No, I've lost all my logs. Okay. This side. No. A bit dark to see, that's the problem. Well, I'll take a small tree instead. Mm. I'll just like to get our base up and running before the end of the session. These trees don't give you as many logs as the uh, redwoods, but they give you more than the little saplings. Uh, saplings give you three, I think these ones give you eight. Um, and the redwoods give you um, eleven. Now we do always something I want to pick up. That's done. That took us the last of the. Thanks, take that. God, now I forgot where the logs were. There they are. There, eight logs, that's right. Let me tear my inventory a bit. Oh, Spam this tank again. Tear my inventory a bit so I can pick up some planks. You've also got a weigh limit. If you look on the right hand side above all your stats, you've got 43.55 over 50. At 50 is the maximum weight limit you can carry. 
But you get a larger backpack now, it goes up to 75. Oh, I must have lost this one. I thought I'd done that one for some reason. Which one's up? This one here. No, I need more logs to make more planks. We'll get our water, so our water should now be clean. Clean water, there we go. Our meat is cooked, and we can eat the meat and drink the water. We fill that and put a fire out for the minute. Right, how many planks have we got? Two, four, six. So that's two for this one. For this one, and I need some more planks. Right, beside the pumpkin, remember that? Mm. No, I won't. Oh, the pumpkin over here. The planks. Yeah, there we go. That worked. I remembered. I'm doing this until I am. Um, I take all the logs. And my stamina runs out, which I've happened first. Come on guys, keep moving. Let him walk for a bit, let's start on recover. I think there's probably two more logs here. Yeah. And how many do I need? I've got one, two, three, so I need twelve planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten. I've got on me. Okay. That's quick. It used to be you had to press the button every time to drop every item. It looks like it's actually two more. Looks like now you, if you've got the items on you, press the button and just instantly go into the whatever it is you're building. So here's a little hut. What I need now is a ceiling. Which way is that? Okay. Rotate it with a mouse wheel. I think that's right that way. There we go. And what do I need for these ceilings? I need three logs, another twelve logs. You do do an awful lot of uh, lumberjack work in this game. But it does get easier. Alright, straight out the front of my building. There they are, I can see them. As I said, you can't jump up with the logs in the inventory, so I'm just having to <laughs> throw them in there for now. And then I'll jump up without any logs in my hands. And uh, base them.
Okay, need another four logs and then a load of planks. Sorry, it's dark at this point, there's not a lot I can do, but I get a torch and some uh, light set up. And for light, I, I need uh, a little furnace. Right, that should be enough logs. Three, three. That's just what I need it. Three. These can go on the. benches. Mm. All right, two, three. How many have we got here? Eight, nine, ten. That should do two and a half. One, two, and a half. So I need another six. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. That should be enough. Right, now what I want is a bed. Bedroom. Bed, six planks. Stick that. Oh, I don't want to stick up egg. Bed. Let's stick in this corner for now. And get six planks. How many have I got? One there, two there, two there, and need one more log. Mm. I think that's a raccoon you heard then. You have uh, animal wise, you have raccoons, foxes, bears. Sheep, deer, um, fish, um, and obviously birds, seagulls, and like blackbirds and pigeons. Right. There's our bed. Let's go to sleep for the rest of the night. <laughs> 